And well, the 23.5.1 drivers from AMD are still not out. But we do have an update from the Windows updated drivers that is kind of a preview that will evolve into the 23.5.1 drivers that brings a feature that hasn't been touched by AMD for the past three years. And I'm not even joking, three years, exactly three years. And I'm talking about the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. And once again, ironically, the last driver that AMD released and the last and the only driver that AMD released with the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling was the 20.5.1. So exactly three years ago, because the driver that will supposedly contain once again the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is a 23.5.1. And on the 20.5.1 beta drivers, we got support for Windows May 2020 update. AMD is excited to provide beta support for Microsoft Graphics hardware scheduling feature. By moving scheduling responsibilities from the software into hardware, this feature has the potential to improve GPU responsiveness and allow additional innovation in GPU workload management in the future. This feature is available on the Raiden RX 5600 and Raiden RX 5700 series graphics products. And this kind of made me think uh, if it wasn't kind of on purpose that exactly after three years, at least four driver versions, they released once again the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. And as you can see, yes, it is working. I downloaded the preview driver, I installed the preview driver, and yes, it is working. If you go to the settings in your Windows, um, in your Windows graphics settings, you can see that the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is there and ready to be used. And Nvidia has been using this for at least two years on all their GPUs, at least all their recent GPUs. Uh, so that's a thing that uh, Nvidia has been having for all this time and AMD just ditched it out. I don't really know why because theoretically it can really improve the performance, uh, at least in some scenarios. So it's a win-win situation overall. Maybe they just couldn't do it properly. Maybe they had issues and they kind of postponed it in order to make um, well, they kind of have they kind of had priorities maybe, so they postponed the hardware acceleration uh, GPU scheduling. But at least now, it seems that it will come out on the 23.5.1 drivers, which I'll be testing further and further uh, if it does indeed come with those drivers. But as for today's video, I won't leave you dry, and I'll be testing three games on the 7900 XTX, so Forza Horizon 5. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077 and Fortnite, both, not both, but all of them at 1440p with the 23.4.2 drivers, which I found to be the best drivers for my 7900 XTX versus these preview drivers, um, yeah, vers versus these preview drivers with the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling enabled. And I just want to add, by the way, that for the for the preview drivers, since they were installed via the device manager, I actually had to use the Windows Store version of the AMD drivers, and it doesn't include the, um, the record and stream feature, so I actually had to record and stream not record and stream, I actually had to record the side-by-side -side comparisons on the preview drivers with OBS. And OBS does take, and I repeat, OBS does take more performance away when recording than the AMD options, than the AMD software, okay? So the AMD software is lighter in terms of recording at the same or better quality. Um, so yeah, the side-by-side the -side comparison is just for a matter of perspective, but in the bottom you'll actually have the, the average, you'll actually have the averages and the 1% lows of the full benchmark without the recording for you to have a um, for you to have a fair and square comparison. Also, the CPU temperatures in the recording uh, being higher on the new preview drivers, I do believe it's because of the, um, I do believe it's because of OBS once again, because it does use a bit more the CPU than the AMD software and the and hence the temperatures being higher, okay? But well, let's see the performance comparisons there. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall bringing you all the software deals you need, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2021 with a new Windows 11 design, and even Windows Server 2022. For all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 25% off, getting a Windows 10 serial key for only $16. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system.
And well, as you saw, in terms of performance comparisons, I only tested three games and only with one GPU, and I do believe that if the, um, the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling comes in the newer drivers, um, it will be better than it is right now, and I'll definitely test it extensively, at least on the 12 games that I, that I have on my GPU, GPU testing um, GPU testing folder, let's call it that. I will test those games in order to see if the hardware uh, hardware accelerated GPU scheduling actually makes a difference or not. But as you can see right now, even only testing three games, we can see that the performance is slightly better in Forza Horizon 5, mostly on the 1% lows uh, and slightly better as well uh, with, um, with Cyberpunk 2077 and once again mostly on the 1% lows. So it seems that the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling might have the... Um, kind of the power to increase your GPU smoothness because once again the GPU scheduling uh, passed from the software Windows sided to the, to the GPU sided so the GPU does its own scheduling kind of reducing the latency and possibly increasing the performance and as we see as we saw now sorry uh, the performance did increase a bit. And concluding it seems that AMD is actually on the right path because this is a feature that they should have included three years ago not now but well Better late than never, the same for DirectX 11, the same for, Open, for OpenGL. They took their time, but at least they did it right, okay? The X11 is now much better on the AMD GPUs, OpenGL the same way, um, Vulkan is also getting better and better. Now we have an improvement on this side with the hardware accelerated uh, graphics scheduling. It is coming together and it is becoming better and that's what people actually want for their GPUs, for their software to improve and NVIDIA has been using this for years so it's time for AMD to take advantage of that as well and as we saw on those games it seems that they do. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and as you saw you can actually download these drivers with the link in the description if you want to and all you have to do is go to the um, to the device manager for example. I, I don't even need to explain you that because you have on the, on the link in the description you have the download and you have the how to install it, okay? So it's not hard, uh, the only downside is that you actually have to use the, the, the software kit from the, um, the overlay or the UI from the, the Microsoft Store and once again you lose some things like, for example, the, the ability to record and stream, but that's basically it. Once again, thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video.